you guys hear about this crazy rumor too about Raheem Sterling going to Barcelona in January? Hey. I feel like Raheem Sterling's like to a move like once a transfer window. It doesn't yeah. matter what else yeah. it is. He's always seemed to link somewhere. Listen, I'll take him at this point. Like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> You know, um, first of all, let's talk about that game a little bit. Probably the best game of the season. I think we also saw Mo Salah with a contending goal for the goal of the season. Uh, the second half was just so exciting. It was so nice to watch like high intensity football because I feel like we've seen a lot of one-sided games um, so far in the EPL. So that was great. But uh, you know, Pep loves a false nine. He did that with Messi in Barcelona for how many years? Like he's used to this. He likes the style of play, you know, a lot of passing back to the center, opening up on the wings. Like this is, this is his football. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's, you know, using it and it's working because this is what he likes to do. So, I mean, I, I that being said as well, City is a team that never fails to, you know, spend money on a player. But I definitely think Pep is uh, happy with the system and uh, wouldn't mind sticking with it. And Michael, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I echo Sarah's thoughts there in terms of, of Pep and his, his ability to just kind of, I guess, make the false nine work in really any sort of system that he decides to, to work in. Pep finds a way to, to get the best out of his players. The way that Man City's built right now, they're a team that, you know, they, they, they do rely on sort of a team that relies on the, the false nine. They, they you know, having someone like Kevin De Bruyne even at times play in that false nine position, that, that seems to work out for Man City and really get the best out of his team, especially when you have someone like Raheem Sterling who can run off the ball and, and create that space in behind off the wing. Um, that being said, I think Manchester City, they're a team that, that likes to have a lot of depth. And they, they, as Sarah pointed out, like they love spending money and bringing in uh, you know talent sometimes they don't even need. But one position they definitely need is a striker. So I, I can't see them not making a move for a striker in the January window unless they're waiting until the summer to see if they can poach Harry Kane, of course. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, no, I agree. I think like Kane might still be on the radar, all into they would obviously be, you know, key elements into this attack if, if Pep wanted that to happen. But obviously we also see that yeah, the false nine is where he ends up leaning towards at times of need. And we've seen that, you know, cities managed to control games as an effective unit, like a cohesive unit, you know, without having that type of striker up front. And, you know, among the choices up front, we see guys like Torres usually having most goals at false nine and also Sterling having most, you know, in the box touches as a false nine. So, yeah, you know, moving forward, we might see a lot more of this and I'm not I'm not too surprised by that. But, yeah, like Michael said, I don't really see them stay, staying put. They might make a move moving forward uh, in the future. They do it for fun. They do it for fun. Yeah.